after we will give them a haircut is we're gonna put them back in the sink and shampoo. Now before we apply any shampoo at all, or water, we're gonna use dual dimension, dual action shampoo. You do not want to put any water with this at first. When we apply this shampoo to his scalp, we want to put this on before we ever add any water to it. I buy some baby brushes that are real soft. Each one of my clients has their own. And we're going to scrub his scalp with this. If you would have missed any adhesive on his scalp, this shampoo will get rid of it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to just rinse that off real good. Then we're gonna use dual action shampoo again. This time when we put it on, we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna scrub this. All right, then we're gonna rinse that out again. And we're gonna repeat this process approximately three to four times. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set them up and we're gonna inspect this scalp. As you can see, there is no build up anything around his scalp, nothing. So once we have that how we want it, we're gonna take dermal mud. Now what dermal mud will do is remove any impurities out of his scalp, basically what it does. It'll draw all the impurities out of there, any excess oil, anything like that. And all you wanna do is make sure you shake it up. You're gonna use a drop about the size of a nickel or a dime on his scalp and just with your fingertips you're going to rub it in all the way around the edges keep in mind if you get it into his hair that's fine but you want to get it around the edges and all the way up to his front hairline the front where you're going to be applying the bond now we'll let this sit for uh, approximately five minutes don't worry about if it's dry or if it's not completely dry it doesn't matter it really is going to help you and aid you in your bonding procedure we're going to take the ph l number five shampoo again and that's what we're going to shampoo them with for a final shampoo. It's the best cleansing shampoo you can use. But you wouldn't want to use this in place of the dual action because the dual action was made for you to remove any excess adhesive. This is just to keep his scalp real clean. Lean way back, Dave. Just There you go. Now we want to rinse that real well. Then once that's rinsed, keep in mind, see these towels laying around? We wouldn't want to reuse that. We're going to get him a brand new towel and we're going to use that on his scalp. So the next step, what we're going to do is take some of this. We're going to use Ghost Bond, which is the greatest that he's on the market today. If you look on YouTube, it's all over the place how much success everybody's having with it. And we're going to apply a drop oh, about the size of a pea to the top of that. We're going to take one of the sponges and we're going to spread this out onto the base. Now, when it's ready to put on a client's head, as you'll notice, it'll dry clear. You can see it's starting to dry clear all, already. When we're looking to see where to put the front hairline, especially on soft bonds, you never want to go down below the client's frontalis muscle. And what I mean by that, here's his frontalis muscle. Keep wrinkled up. You can see right where it goes. So if you bring it down below that, the bond's going to break loose because of all the expressions he's making throughout a month. The greatest thing about this part of this procedure and pre-cutting this out is that it is going to line up exact. I don't have to be nervous about laying it down one time and if it's not perfect, we're gonna lay it right back behind that frontalis muscle and we're gonna lay this back. As you can see, I'm gonna fit this together just like a puzzle. And it's gotta be exact. So we're gonna lay it down. Let's see where we're at with it. Now we're right on the money there. Let's see where we are up here. Are we in the center? We're definitely in the center. That's where we need to be. As you can see, here's the center, and it, I'm looking at his nose, and it's right in the center. That's where we want it. We're gonna come over to the sides and check the sides out. Is it matching in with the sides? It's matching exactly in with the sides. There's no gap in anything. And the same thing on this side, it's gonna be the same way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift that halfway up, we're gonna take the ghost bond, we're gonna take one of the disposable paint brushes, and we're gonna use his head like a painter's palette. And we're gonna thin this out, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna butt that up, even touching his hair. You want it to touch his hair. You need to seal this base real good, and you wanna make this look 100% undetectable. 
So you can continue this up to four coats. Now once we put them coats on there, I take a hair dryer. And if you're gonna use a hair dryer, keep in mind, you don't wanna blow any hair up onto that adhesive or the hair's gonna stick to it. And then once that's dry, you would set a timer for seven minutes. And then we're gonna let it cure for seven minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take my index fingers, I'm gonna put them into the hair system on the edge. Keep in mind, I'm not touching the base with my thumbs at all. And I'm gonna just hold on to the hair and I'm gonna put this together just like a puzzle. I'm gonna walk it down. Keep in mind, we're keeping that center stretched. We're not over stretching the system because you know it's gonna line up. We've already lined it up. And we're gonna walk it all the way down. Once you get down this far, then what we're gonna do is just lay it down. And if this is put down right, you can push on it and it'll be in the exact place. Say you had a, if you did have a wrinkle one at this point, as long as you didn't push on it, you'd be okay. What you'd wanna do, you would take a wide tooth comb and look through here. And if you've seen a wrinkle, you could actually pull the wrinkle out and then push it down. But keep in mind, if you push it down before you take the wrinkle out, it's not gonna forgive you for that. Okay, so now that we have this down, this is what kind of results we got. Now keep in mind that is 100% undetectable to human eye. Now that we have the back bonded down, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pull this back. As you can see how good it's stuck to them already, we didn't put no adhesive on it yet. I'm gonna take it back as far as it was, as far as we bonded it, which was there. Now I'm just gonna lay it down without overstretching it. I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil. Okay, so I'm going to mark this from the base. I'm gonna get down an eighth of an inch past the edge of that base. Keep in mind, we need to seal in this edge. How many times have you done the whole hair system when you got to the front hairline, you didn't put enough adhesive on there and you can see the edge of the hair system? That seems to be a big problem. So you need to come down a little bit lower than the edge of the hair system. So I'd say an eighth of an inch. And once I have that marked, I'm gonna pull this back and we're gonna proceed with the bonding with the ghost bond again. So again, we're gonna shut the ghost bond, shake it up real well, use another drop about the size of a pea. I'm gonna get a brand new brush out because I gotta get this. We wanna, we wanna bevel this edge in the front because lines is what gives away front hair lines. So I'm using this head again like a painter's palette. I'm making that real thin. And I'm gonna put that down to the dots. Keep in mind, don't go over the dots because you won't be able to get them off. If you use alcohol or anything else, they just won't come off right. So you don't, you don't want to put the adhesive over the dots, just down to them. And again, we're going to go up here into the hairline and make sure we touch the hair. You want to make sure you touch it. We're going to come across here with a brush instead of a sponge because I don't want to put a whole bunch underneath there and then it won't cure like the rest of it. We're gonna to come to this side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Again, we're gonna bring it down to the dots but not touching the dots. And you see I'm still using this head like a painter's palette. We're gonna go up to the hair. This whole procedure, if done correctly, shouldn't take you any more than 30, 30, 35 minutes at the most.